Inchy inchworm. Inchworm reads e e e. Inchworm reads e e e. Inchworm reads e e e. Inchy inchworm inch moved slowly out of bed. Hump, inchy inchworm hump up the middle of his bed. Bump, inchy inchworm bump ahead. Bunch, inchy inchworm bunch stretch his tail back into the rest of his green body. My throat feels so itchy. Sniff, inchy inchworm. My head hurts too. Hump, bump, bunch. Inch, inch, warm inch into the tree house bathroom. Hump, bump, bunch. Inch, inch, warm slowly inch up on his little pink step stool. The little pink step stool was just tall enough so that Inch, inch, warm could reach the sink all by himself. Slowly, Inchy Inchworm brushed his teeth back and forth, up and down. When Inchy Inchworm's toothbrush, Inchy Inchworm was careful to polish every tooth. Then Inchy Inchworm started to wash his face. Oh no! Exclaimed Inchy Inchworm as he looked in the mirror. I have red spots all over my face. I look like a real. Life dot to dot picture. Swish swish swish. Inchy Inchworm tried to scrub the red spots away. The red spots would not come off. What will I do? Gasped Inchy Inchworm. What will I do? Inchy Inchworm's red spots began to itch. Inchy Inchworm's throat began to itch too. Inchy inchworm itch from the top of his little green head to the tip of his little green tail. Slowly, Inchy inchworm inch his way to Mummy inchworm. Mummy inchworm whispered Inchy inchworm in a screechy, scratchy voice. I feel icky. You have red spots all over you, exclaimed Mummy inchworm. You are ill. I will call Daddy inchworm. Inchworm was glad. Daddy Inchworm was supervisor at Inchworm School. Daddy Inchworm would know just what to do. Take Inch Inchy Inchworm to see Doctor B. Walsun," said Daddy Inchworm when Mummy Inchworm talked to him on the phone. Doctor B. Walsun will know how to get rid of Inchy Inchworm's illness or sickness. Inchy Inchworm inch back to his bed as Mummy Inchworm called Doctor B. Wilson's office. Inchy Inchworm would could hear Mummy Inchworm talking to Doctor B. Wilson's nurse. Yes, ma'am," said Mummy Inchworm. "I'll bring Inchy Inchworm right now. Goodbye." Mummy Inchworm inch into Inchy Inchworm's room. She wrapped Inchy Inchworm in a warm green blade of grass blanket. The green blanket matched Inchy Inchworm's green pajamas. Then Mummy Inchworm gently carried Inchy Inchworm into the tree house garage. Mummy Inchworm buckled Inchy Inchworm onto the Inchworm skateboard. She gave Inchy Inchworm a little hug. Quickly, Mummy Inchworm inch in front of Inchy Inchworm. Mummy Inchworm buckled her seatbelt too. Clickety click, Mummy Inchworm drove the skateboard down the street. She parked at the Inchworm Hospital. Doctor B. Walsun's nurse was waiting outside. Mummy Inchworm and Inchy Inchworm followed Nurse Ladybug through the hospital doorway marked. In the clean hospital smells made Inchy Inchworm's nose itch. Hum, bum, bunch. 
Mommy Inchworm and Inchy Inchworm inch into Dr. B. Walson's office. Slowly, Inchy Inchworm looked around. Other ill inchworms were waiting to see the doctor. Inchy Inchworm, said Nurse Ladybug, follow me to see Dr. B. Walson. Gulp. Mm. Ah. Inchy Inchworm swallowed. Then, Inchy Inchworm blinked his eyes. It hurt to swallow. I don't need to be afraid, whispered Inchy Inchworm to himself. The doctors and nurses are here to help me get well. I don't need to be afraid at all. Inchy Inchworm took Mommy Inchworm's hand as they followed the nurse. Hum, bum, bunch. Inchy Inchworm slowly inched down the hall. In a few moments, he would see Dr. B. Well soon.